okay good afternoon because of uh, connectivity problem it uh, started some minutes late so we are going to start our uh, class of intrauterine contraceptive devices is my voice clear and audible write down in chat box is my voice clear and audible please write down in chat box and ask your colleague that our class has been started so that to join the class Is my voice clear and audible? Write down. Okay. Yes. I'm getting reply from students. Okay. So we are going to start with intrauterine contraceptive devices. Uh, in previous class, you may have uh, studied about uh, different uh, methods of contraception. You may have got in introduction of uh, contraception. That is your uh, part of family planning chapter. And you can write down this content in your journal later on. This recorded lecture will be available on YouTube also. So intrauterine contraceptive devices, basically they are of two types, two types of intrauterine contraceptive devices, non-medicated and medicated devices. Medicated devices are again of two types, contraceptive device and hormone releasing intrauterine contraceptive device. So both these types, medicated as well as non-medicated IOD, they are made up of polyethylene or other types of the polymer. This can be asked in your MCQ, polyethylene. So they are made, manufactured of this material or other polymer. Polymer you may have studied in your secondary class or in primary class also. So non-medicated or they are also called inert or first generation IOD. This is loop. You can see double S cell loop. This is lip loop. This is called lip loop. It is the old IOD intrauterine device. And uh, because of availability of the better IOD, that is copper releasing IOD as well as hormonal IOD, nowadays its use is very limited or not used at all. But you should know about the feature of this lip loop also. This heavy are available in different shapes and size, loops, most commonly lip loop, then spirals, coils, rings, and bows. So it is double S shaped device. Lip loop is double S shaped. You can see that if you mark it, S it can be recognized. One S may be inverted. It contains small amount of gum surfate. That is BASO4. It lip uh, loop has attached threads or tail. Can you tell me why BASO4 it contains small amount of BASO4 it is written? Can you explain uh, why BASO4 is there in lip slope? What is the use of BASO4? Why there is added BASO4 in loop in different device? Write down in your answer in the box. <laughs> Barium sulfate in lip loop. One student audio is not clear. What about the student? Is my audio clear? Can you hear me properly? Today, net connection source is uh, different, so it may happen. Actually, another net connection is not working properly. Okay, some other students are also saying the audio is not clear. Our Wi-Fi network is limited and I have used another source which is having some uh, less internet uh, source in terms of uh, speed.
so we will uh, study this for some minute and uh, we will try to see if uh, connectivity in between goes then we will continue I have reconnected internet source. Is audible now?
okay so we are back live again is my voice clear audible now is my voice clear and audible now is voice clear and audible now i have asked that why bso4 is there in lips loop so one student has answered that uh, it is because of uh, it can be recognized in x ray so if the device is missing uh, so we can easily uh, recognize the device iod in x ray so it is very right in between uh, internet sources is now uh, today is varying uh, connection connectivity speed is uh, slower so in between if voice uh, goes and if it is not working we will see up to 10 minutes afterwards i will otherwise put the lecture recorded lecture online so uh, now further the it is the tail is made up of the nylon this is tail part of the lip slope it is made up of the nylon importance of the tail is easy to remove this tail in I, any iod it is hanging behind the behind hanging below vagina so that it can be easily pulled lip slope it is existing in four size a b c and d types of other types of the iod you can see lip slope over here then tcu 200b tcu 380 this tcu is copper t cut it can be written as cut also 200b 380a this numbers 380 200 it, it suggests the surface area of copper then tcu 220c so this is a, these are the size b a c then nova t these are novel devices copper 7 multi load 375 progesterone these are the hormonal containing devices progesterone hormone is there progesterone and levonorgestrel iod so this is very good picture to show you all the devices in same picture and these two are last two are hormonal containing devices progesterone and levonorgestrel let me check whether it is streaming properly is voice clear and audible and is the picture available okay let us continue medicated devices importance of the medicated device it reduce the incidence of the side effect and increase the contraceptive effectiveness and disadvantage these medicated devices are more expensive second generation iod they have the metallic copper they had strong anti-fertility effect so this copper has strong anti-fertility effect because of the presence of the copper uh, in addition to the device this copper also has the anti-fertility effect so types of again you can see this copper t 380a which is kept inside this uterine uterus copper t how it is uh, uh, placed inside the uterus that you can see very well in this photograph then this is progesterone, progesterone containing device. You can see over here in copper T is also there is tail, there is also tail in. The voice is not clear, or whenever uh, visibility is not clear, or it is not streaming properly, write down in chat box. I have actually two windows uh, for uh, checking this uh, whether it is streaming properly or not I have to go to other window so uh, write down in chat box immediately whenever uh, you are not uh, watching this properly so number of copper bearing devices are available so many number we have already seen earlier devices were copper 7 and copper T200B so seven is because of uh, presence of the seven safe and this this is seven safe t is copper t is because of t safe it is t safe and this device is seven safe so it is copper seven newer devices these are the variant of t devices it contain tcu 220c 380a or ag then nova t multi-load devices so there are two types of the multi-load ml is multi-load multi-load copper 250 and multi-load copper 375 this number represents the surface area of the copper on device in square millimeter remember this this can be asked in your mcq this copper it represents the surface area so it is uh, in square millimeter this surface area total surface area is in square millimeter 
advantage of copper device is they have low expulsion rate expulsion you know that this device is may expel out uh, spontaneously so they have low expulsion rate copper containing devices have low expulsion rate low incidence of side effect they have high anti fertility effect because of the presence of this copper additional anti fertility effect are there there are two types of the mechanism so one is because of the presence of these uh, devices these are mechanical and they will be mechanically interrupting uh, uh, conception even if there is conception because of the presence they can avoid fertilization i want to say they can they can avoid implantation even if there is implantation they can also uh, expel out uh, what implant embryo so and because of the presence of the copper they have additional anti fertility effect it is easier to fit even in nulliparous women this copper containing devices in nulliparous women you, you can see that uh, uh, vaginal orifice is narrow as well as the size of the vagina is small so it can be easily uh, as well as size of the uterus is also small so even in the nulliparous women because of the limited size it can easily fit inside it post coital contraception so they have the advantage of post coital contraception that is after uh, intercourse that is an emergency contraception this property devices can be used as a as emergency contraception so and they have the even better efficacy uh, even then the oral contraceptive high dose oral contraceptive uh, this tablets or mifepristone so that is advantage the advantage post coital contraception third generation iod the most widely used hormonal devices so two types of devices we have seen progesterone the contain progesterone and second is uh, lng20 that is progesterone containing device so this is again t safe device which is filled with 38 mg of progesterone so remember this number it can be skin as if you and it is direct effect on uterine lining cervical mucus and sperm so because of the action on uterine lining cervical mucus and sperm it can have the effect uh, more uh, anti fertility effect than containing simple devices so this progesterone also acts uh, as a anti fertility one in uh, Containing devices, technology is also T-shaped device, low pregnancy rate as compared to the normal containing devices. They have less number of less chances of ectopic pregnancy uh, as compared to the copper containing or this lips look. This uh, non-ectopic containing device has the less chance of ectopic pregnancy. Can you tell me what is ectopic pregnancy? Write down in chat box what is ectopic pregnancy. This device, copper containing device, as well as uh, lips to or second generation, previous generation devices, the chances of ectopic pregnancy. So, what is ectopic pregnancy? Let me check. I'm waiting for your reply. Write down in chat box. What is ectopic pregnancy? No answers. Okay, I've got one answer. Implantation other than fundus of the uterus. I think you want to say like that. Your spelling is the uh, incorrect, but uh, that is okay. Implantation other than fundus of the uterus. So yes, so, but uh, pregnancy which is occurring uh, in abnormal places like it can it can happen in uterine tube or implantation occurs in uh, OB. So implantation is unusual. That is very right. Uh, this In this world, so uh, presence of these devices other than the uterus, so the implantation other than the uterus, uterine side, it can happen in in case of in, in uterine tube or in uh, ovary. That is for 
again you can see the photograph of progesterone this is lng levonorgestrel iod mechanism of action already some of the mechanism of action we have already discussed again you can see what we have mentioned that a foreign body reaction this shows this device shows the foreign body so because of uh, presence of this foreign body it interferes with the uh, fertilization and implantation Another mechanism is cellular and biochemical change that can also help the fertility effect, impact the viability of the gametes. You can see that uh, viability gametes. This one can be alive for about 48 hours and one can be for 24 hours also. So it further decreases the viability of these gametes, uh, these devices, and decreases the chance of fertilization. It reduces the chance of fertilization rather than implantation. So they have the more effect on fertilization. Like uh, oral contraceptive pills, they can, they can also interfere with this implantation or some high dose oral contraceptive is used in case of uh, post-fertile contraception. They can even uh, uh, this expel out the already implanted embryo. But here, uh, they have more uh, effect on fertilization that it can prevent fertilization rather than implantation. Core enhance the cellular uh, response of the endometrium so copper containing device with the additional antifertility effect what we have discussed affect the enzyme in the uterus it can alter also biochemical composition of the cervical mucus so that it can become uh, thick and uh, impenetrable to the spermatozoa hormonal devices increase the viscosity of the cervical mucus so what is what it is same so because of the increase in viscosity of the cervical mucus Spermatozoa cannot easily penetrate this cervical mucus and further travel uh, up into the uterus. Now, about timing of insertion, it is a very basic question. Can you frequently ask in your wife? Preferably in within first five days of menstruation, or here it is written within ten days, but preferably first five days, or after delivery. It is very easy to insert this device after delivery, and it is called as postpartum PPIUCD. Postpartum IUCD. There are some NGOs who are working only in uh, uh, this PPIUCD. They are giving training for PPIUCD to CHC staff as well as they are monitoring. Uh, PPIUCD insertion, they are monitoring the success rate of the PPIUCD insertion, they are monitoring this uh, issues related to PPIUCD. So PPIUCD is very important, postpartum IUCD, immediate in postpartum IUCD, as well as uh, women is, woman is more receptive uh, during pregnancy about this contraceptive matter. So she can be easily convinced for PPIUCD. Uh, post purpurular insertion it can be after 6 to 8 week so during first week if it is inserted uh, it is called PPIUCD and after 6 to 8 week it is called as post purpurular insertion as you know that uh, after pregnancy the purpurular period begins and after 6, 6 to 8 week if it is inserted it is called as post purpurular insertion let me check the connectivity again okay <coughs> follow up it is most important aspect of the IOD insertion. So why do we call women for follow-up? So there are some objectives. First is to provide motivational and emotional support to the woman. As you know that we have inserted a foreign body inside woman ut woman's uterus. So we need to motivate continuously as well as we need to give emotional support to the women because there may be some issues related to this foreign body insertion initially, but uh, over the period of the time, 
uh, with continuous uh, emotional support as well as continuous counseling these issues may go off as well as initially we need to confirm the presence of the iod for that also we need to uh, follow up uh, she can be asked she can be taught that how she can confirm by herself uh, that, that that is present uh, at proper place you know that uh, there are strings so that strings can be below vagina and uh, if she can feel strings easily uh, and then it is placed uh, at the proper side as well as there should not be any abdominal pain and to diagnose as well as to treat any side effect related to uh, this uh, devices there can be some initial uh, bleeding pit because of the presence of the device or there can be abdominal pain and so to diagnose the condition related to that the time of examination after her first menstrual period she can be called for first follow up then after third menstrual period and then after 6 month to 1 year every time every time uh, every 6 months she can be called for follow up effectiveness lip slope and so there are three tables the one thing is pregnancy rate expulsion rate and removal rate pregnancy rate that can be uh, we can say that efficacy this is called efficacy of the uh, device expulsion rate means how uh, much per in how much percentage of the women uh, does it spontaneously uh, expel out and removal rate that is because of any side effect whether it is removed or not so in lip slope it is 3% expulsion rate is almost it is highest among all the devices huh? expulsion rate in lip slope is highest there you can see 12 to uh, 20% as well as uh, this removal rate it is also highest and you can see uh, lowest pregnancy rate is with levonorgestrel containing device only 0.2% followed by uh, cut 380a and that is 0.5 to 0.8% lowest expulsion rate is also with this it is with uh, progesterone containing device that is progestazard and lowest removal rate it is also with same progesterone containing device progestazard containing devices so can you evaluate from this table that which is best considering all these three things ex pregnancy rate expulsion rate and removal rate which is the best device or can you see which is best followed by second number write down in chat box which is the best device <coughs> considering all these three read together best device should be having lowest pregnancy rate it should be having lowest expulsion rate and lowest removal rate Write down in chat box. I am waiting for your reply. Which is best IUD among all these? i'm waiting for your answer yes i'm getting answer hormonal in general okay progesterone progesterone two students are saying progesterone hormonal yes of course this both hormone containing devices they are very good uh, progesterone as well as neonorgestrel you can see that pregnancy rate is uh, almost uh, very low and here you can see levonorgestrel point to lowest but in liver not just still containing device you can see expulsion rate and uh, this removal rate they both are high as compared to progesterone in progesterone even if uh, pregnancy rate is somewhat higher uh, here point 2 it is 1.3 somewhat higher just 1% difference is there but expulsion rate and removal rate there is very much difference uh, 6 compared to 6 here in progesterone 2.7 50% and in uh, removal rate 17 as compared to project levonorgestrel just to contain device this is 9.3 it is almost uh, 60% or 55% so uh, overall we can see progesterone containing device uh, that is best but uh, we can also say that levonorgestrel just it can be second best device so you are right advantages of iud simplicity simple to insert the technique is very simple once you learn this technique Uh, there is applicator special applicator available 
uh, with uh, for the insertion of the iod and it is opd procedure it, uh, the patient need not to be admitted uh, in fhw female health worker anm even asad she is, she is also uh, very well known very she is also she is also knowing how to insert the iod but generally fhw and anm are performing this activity uh, so second thing is insertion takes only few minutes so it is opd procedure i already said once inserted iod stays in place as long as it is required a majority of the device it can be it is variable huh? two years five years so it can stay as long as it is required and uh, woman does not have to take uh, every day pill huh? in in contraceptive pill woman has to take the every day once iod is inserted the contraception is uh, for longer duration Another advantage, it is reversible. So whenever the couple is planning to conceive, uh, it is reversible. IOD can be removed and after some months, uh, pregnancy can be restored. I mean to say that uh, uh, con contracept conception ability, it can be restored. It is inexpensive. In government, it is given free of cost, inexpensive. Even in uh, this... Uh, uh, private medical store it can be available uh, with a nominal price but it is available free of cost in government uh, in addition to availability of the free of cost government is also providing uh, 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 some connectivity problem no is my voice clear and audible Is my voice clear and audible? Write down in chat box. Is my voice clear, audible? Okay, I think so. So, in we were discussing that it is inexpensive. It is available free of cost. So, in addition to free of cost to some BPL as well as STST uh, card family. Uh, government is also providing this cash transfer for this IUD. High continuation rate. So once it is uh, placed, it can be uh, remaining for as long as the couple desire. Single act of motivation. Only once we have to motivate women to have the insertion of the IUD. And so because of the single act of motivation, contraception can be for longer duration. Free of systemic side effect in oral contraceptive pill, as you know that there are so many systemic side effects, including effect on blood pressure, including effect on the heart, effect on venous system. Uh, so in this IOD, the systemic side effects are no. So it is free of systemic side effect. Absolute contraindication of the devices, of course, suspected pregnancy. If the woman is already having pregnancy uh, suspected, then we cannot insert this IOD. Then it can be, if we insert, it can be considered, it may be, uh, be considered as the wrong failure. Uh, pelvic inflammatory disease uh, in presence of the PID, already the woman is having PID uh, in pel pelvic inflammatory disease. We cannot insert the IOD, vaginal bleeding, then cancer of the cervix and uterus, previous history of ectopic pregnancy, as we know that. Uh, with these uh, devices, there can be chance of ectopic pregnancy. So we cannot uh, insert the device whenever the woman is having previous history of ectopic pregnancy. So in this, if if this such type of the absolute contraindication, if such type of the absolute contraindications are existing, uh, then we have to uh, give the other options uh, to the couple for uh, uh, contraception. As you know, that this option strategy that is called the cafeteria approach. In, in counseling of the contraception that is cafeteria approach we have to uh, give options all the options available for the contraception we have to explain uh, advantages as well as disadvantage of the different method of the contraception and ultimately it is the choice of couple and woman uh, herself uh, which method of the contraception is to be uh, adopted relative contraindication presence of anemia menorrhagia history of pelvic inflammatory disease and purulent cervical discharge these are relative contraindications so in presence of this contraindication uh, uh, we have to watch for advantage and disadvantage and due weightage should be given to advantage and then uh, we can take the decision or the couple can take the decision of uh, uh, whether she has, she has to use this method of contraception or not side effects and complications so immediate side effect difficulty in insertion in some women we have seen that uh, 
it is very easy method for insertion but in some women it may be there but it, with the proper technique and proper skill this difficulty can be uh, uh, it can be removed then vasovagal shock during the very very rare chance huh, during insertion uh, vasovagal shock can be there but it is theoretical uterine cramps early chance early uh, side effects expulsion in some women particularly in case of a multiparous woman uh, there can be chance of the expulsion we have seen different percentage of the expulsion of the different devices there can be chance of perforation in some women uh, this device can perforate the uterus and come into the abdominal cavity sporting menorrhagia dysmenorrhea dysmenorrhea is painful uterine bleeding vaginal infection this is serving as the uh, a foreign body so if proper uh, precautions are not taken proper aseptic precautions are not taken during insertion or even after that uh, that can be that can lead to vaginal infection actinomycosis late uh, complications late side effect pelvic inflammatory disease hiv aids so uh, again it is query that hiv aids uh, if it is not aseptically inserted or so th there can be chance but it is very very rare even you can remove this side effect ectopic pregnancy it is important uh, side effect with this device perforation again perforation it is there it can happen early also so it is included in early side effect it can ha happen late also so the perforation ectopic this uh, menorrhagia dysmenorrhea this can happen late others other chances that fertility so uh, that is failure and failure of this device and fertility is side effect why it is mentioned as the side effect in in terms of the failure we want to say that a failure of the device uh, there can be teratogenicity rare mortality of the woman very rare immediate complication difficulty in insertion we have already discussed that with proper skill and technique and proper training this difficulty can be removed vasovagal sac so to prevent the vasovagal shock we have to uh, pro, uh, carry out this procedure with informed consent or informed procedure and during insertion we have to inform the woman that we are inserting this device inside the uterus so uh, informed procedure uh, you may have seen you may have seen, experienced that while giving injection uh, nurses are informing the patient that uh, we will prick uh, so that patient gets informed that uh, we have to uh, the, uh, take the injection so here also inform procedure uh, it can prevent this vasovagal shock analgesic and good local anesthesia we have availability of the good local anesthesia uh, and choice of ideal candidate by different uh, method of the filtration and counseling so for that gather approach uh, gather principle to avoid this such type of the side effect so remember this it may not be given in your textbook also so G is greet the person uh, for this uh, IUD or in case of the contraception in general, we can see that or it, this is this is the principle of counseling and gather approach is the principle of counseling. So first G is greet the person here. Ask. Second thing is ask, greet, ask, ask about what about parity uh, about age. We are talking in terms of this contraception. So here specifically uh, things will be written. Uh, explanation can be is written. Uh, uh, for the contraception so greet ask then t is tell what to tell tell the person about the facility planning method uh, what are the facility planning methods are available then h is help help in choosing the family planning method so by a proper explanation of the uh, different family planning method as well as uh, availability of the family planning method according to the need of the couple uh, the couple is having a uh, just married couple it is different method then uh, the method uh, couple who is having one child uh, the couple who is having the just uh, delivery so according to the time of uh, the different uh, uh, period uh, we have we can opt for the different methods as well as we have to explain the side effect as well as advantage of different family planning methods so to help the couple in choosing the family planning method is explain what is good and what is bad and r is regular follow-up so greet ask tell help explain and regular follow up that is gather approach so you have to write down this thing is also in your journal and this will be available in form of recorded video lecture i'll be sending the link soon 
then we are continuing with the side pain so pain is also second major side effect and it is leading cause of the removal of the iocd so we have seen one table that uh, removal of the iocd in percentage uh, pain is the leading cause for removal of the iocd so among uh, all the causes for removal of the iocd pain is 15 to 14 percent uh, it is the cause for uh, removal there can be low backache cramps what type of the pain so low backache cramp in low abdominal pain and for treatment uh, resolution spontaneously means uh, if there it is severe then we can remove the iocd in case of the slight pain or due to, due to cervical dilatation uh, that uh, slight pain in, in this con condition aspirin or any other analgesic can be also uh, given for severe pain uh, due to incorrect placing or uterine perforation uh, there are hysteroscopy can be performed and we have to treat the cause an intolerable pain removal as we have seen previously early expulsion rate we have already discussed so we am skipping this uh, expulsion can be complete as well as partial uh, complete is what as seen by the person the person herself woman herself says that the expulsion this device has been expelled out so that is complete expulsion and partial expulsion it can be diagnosed by the speculum examination uh, so if a woman is coming for the follow up and a woman is uh, complain of any uh, difficulties uh, in, in case uh, here in partial expulsion there can be also abdominal pain or bleeding can be uh, filled so it can be diagnosed by the examiner by the obstetrician by speculum examination so partially the device may be there inside the uterus so it can be diagnosed with this factors to remove such complication skill we have discussed already skill timing of the insertion postpartum so in postpartum is ideally ideal timing for the expul uh, insertion uh, by this timing uh, in PPIOCD expulsion rate can be lowered in nulliparid pillars woman in young woman uh, expulsion rate can be low and main problem with this it is pregnancy perforation it can be also early and late complication incidence is 1 is to 150 to 1 is to 9000 uh, factors related to perforation so here again similar factor is uh, we have discussed that uh, skillful by adopting skillful technique by proper training of the uh, person who is inserting this device and design of the iocd design is very good operator experience so experienced staff is if she is performing it then chance of perforation are very low and time of insertion 48 week to 68 week postpartum clinical feature of perforation if the perforation happens there can be pain intestinal obstruction if the device goes into the abdominal cavity it can obstruct the intestine it can be even asymptomatic also there is one another condition known as misplaced iocd which can be diagnosed by pelvic x-ray as we have seen previously that uh, it can be laden with the baso4 so it, it is helpful to uh, diagnose this with the x-ray and to treatment of this misplaced iocd laparotomy and removal laparotomy is opening of the abdominal cavity and removal Bleeding or demenorrhage or dysmenorrhea, it can be late or early, uh, inert or medicated IOCD, common as with this device, common as complaint. Clinical feature of this menorrhagia or dysmenorrhea, greater volume of the bleeding during the menstruation, longer period. So, menstruation time will here will be longer than the usual. And even mid cycle bleeding, huh, in between the cycle bleeding can also happen. Complications, first personal inconvenience because of the frequent bleeding because of the mid cycle bleeding because of the greater volume of the bleeding and lo longer duration uh, it is personal inconvenience it is not easy that to bleed and because of the bleeding iron deficiency anemia treatment generally it can settle within one to two months and uh, as there can be iron deficiency anemia we can give ferrous sulfate and tid non-medicated with the non-medicated devices this dysmenorrhea can be maximum chance with the copper de containing device it, it can be less or average chance and with the hormonal containing devices dysmenorrhea is lowest and bleeding is also common cause of removal so pain and bleeding they are two most common cause for removal of the iocd pid it can be subacute chronic uh, this is a chronic condition of ovaries tubes uterus connective tissue and pelvic peritoneum following infection incidence is two to eight times more than non-iocd user so as compared to the non-iocd user iocd users have 
two to eight times more chance of PID. Uh, there can risk factor. What are the risk factor for PID? Polygamy is uh, presence of the STD like uh, HIV AIDS or syphilis. And uh, why there is uh, I use this PID? This device serves as the medium for the ascent of the infection uh, with the device presence of the device. Infective bacteria can ascend through the strings as well as through the device, and it can cause in. Uh, infection of this organ of the pelvic area. Clinical picture of the PID, vaginal discharge, pelvic pain, tenderness, abdominal bleeding, chills, fever, as it is infection, so fever, low-grade fever, in many cases it can be asymptomatic. And most common complication of the PID is infertility. Treatment of PID is broad spectrum antibiotic and prescribe the removal if it is not responding within 24 to 88, 48 hours. So risk reduction of PID, wash the hands and put on the gloves before insertion of the IUD. So aseptic precaution, clean the cervix and vagina, water based uh, betadine or chlorhexidine can be used using no touch technique for the instrument. So as you know that uh, in this type of the ward procedure or OPD procedure, we have to uh, use, adopt the no touch technique that we don't have to touch the device and to insert that can be learned practically whenever you see, uh, get the chance in Word or in OPD. So how to uh, use this no touch technique? We don't have to touch uh, the instrument and uh, insert the device. Washing the hands again and processing the instrument. We are skipping this. So how many chance, how much chance of the pregnancy we have already discussed. So I'm skipping it this part. Ectopic pregnancy, we have already seen, it is with lowest with the LNG containing devices. Uh, danger signs signal for the ectopic pregnancy are lower abdominal pain, dark and scanty vaginal bleeding and amenorrhea. And who are the person at the risk? Persons having the previous inflammatory disease, pelvic inflammatory disease and other ectopic pregnancy, they are at the risk of ectopic pregnancy. Other side effect, fertility after removal. So 70% women conceive. No uh, so these are the advantage actually no cancer or teratogenicity mortality it is extremely late we have already discussed this one death per one lakh or even less so that is all about iucd recorded lecture will be available soon and you can write down this this part in journal thank you very much हाँ वाईफाई कनेक्शन आल तो ना थी लिमिटेड है बच्चा अच्छा आल तो ना मैं आप बड़ा पोन थी आमद कई रोज़ होती है ना मैं हमारे बच्चे बच्चे जाते तो अटले पहले पंद्रह मिनट तो एंड ब्रोड कस्टिंग अच्छा तो 